CAR T-cell therapy, or Chimeric Antigen Receptor T-cell therapy, is a groundbreaking personalized treatment for certain blood cancers that modifies a patient's own immune cells to recognize and kill cancerous ones. A new, unique cancer treatment, CAR T-cell therapy harnesses the power of the body's own immune system to treat patients who have poor alternatives. Right now, there are several CAR T-cell therapies approved by the FDA, with others being researched. While all CAR-Ts are different, clinical studies of those that are approved have shown improved partial or complete response to therapy. CAR-Ts represent hope for many cancer patients who have exhausted other options. Unfortunately, barriers exist to accessing these promising treatments. Analysis shows that those insured by Medicare, the federal health insurance program covering primarily those who are 65 years or older, may not have the same access to CAR-Ts as those who are commercially insured leaving those who have been paying into a system for care their whole lives at risk for not being able to access these treatments. Why is this, and how can all eligible patients be given the same access to CAR-Ts? In the U.S., there are a limited number of specialized centers that meet the FDA's strong safety requirements to provide CAR-T. Exacerbating this issue among Medicare patients is Medicare's hospital reimbursement system, which was established long before this type of new technology was developed. Currently, the Medicare system does not reimburse treatment centers for providing CAR-Ts in the same way as commercial insurers, and as a result, hospitals often lose significant amount of money when administering CAR-T to Medicare patients. This makes it difficult for centers to provide the treatment for these patients. This reimbursement issue has created a skewed system in which fewer centers treat those on Medicare with CAR-T, thus forcing some patients to travel far to get the care they need. For example, Research shows that Medicare patients travel an average of 50% further compared to commercially insured patients to access CAR-T treatments. Researchers have also found that increased travel has been associated with poor outcomes among cancer patients. Using Oklahoma as an example, Medicare patients living in the state are estimated to travel almost 230 miles to get to the nearest treatment center that accepts Medicare. By comparison, people with commercial insurance would only have to travel 56 miles to the nearest provider to receive the same treatment. To ensure patients with Medicare have equal access to life-saving treatments, policymakers must establish a long-term reimbursement solution that fairly reimburses hospitals treating patients with CAR-T. Fortunately, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, the government agency that oversees our nation's Medicare system, took a step in the right direction for advancing patient access in 2020 by proposing a new way to determine hospital reimbursement rates. With the implementation of this rule, hospitals may be reimbursed at a higher rate when administering CAR-T. CMS can put in place responsible policies like this one to hopefully provide broader patient access for those who need these therapies. Learn more about CAR-T and important reimbursement policies by visiting patienteducation.asgct.org.